Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm a service designer living in Scotland. This short video is about people using assisted technologies. People might use websites in a way you did not expect. A dyslexic person might use a screen reader even though they can see. Someone with a motor impairment might be using a switch or their voice to interact instead of a keyboard or a mouse. A person who is low vision might be zooming to see or use a large mouse pointer. So here you can see a few examples with a woman using a mouse stick to use a keyboard, a man holding a switch, which is a tool to help you navigate a website or an app, someone using a braille keyboard, and a keyboard for people with low vision. So what happens when you can't use a mouse? Well, you can try yourself. Don't use a mouse and instead use the tab key to move forward or shift and the tab key to move back. If you're not too sure, this is how these keys look like on most keyboards. Can you still navigate and use the website? So what happens when you need to zoom to see? Try yourself. To zoom in, you use the control and plus keys. And to zoom out, the control and minus keys. You can also use the settings in your browser. This is linked in when you zoom at 400%. Try posting or reading something. Can you still do it? But remember, the best way to understand it is not to try yourself for 10 minutes, but to speak with someone who experiences this every day. And if you create website, always do at least these two tests. Test with skateboard only and zoom at 400%. Do you want to learn more? You can join a meetup group about accessibility or you can follow disabled people on Twitter or LinkedIn and learn from them. You don't need to become an expert, but do make a start. Thank you.